beautiful house, isn't it? I love this part of the valley. But as the saying goes, looks can indeed be deceiving. This place is for sale now. Nobody's buying. Not after what happened here. It's troubling because no one really knows just what did happen. I should know. Oh, I'm Dr. Turner, by the way. I'm a psychiatrist. I was close to all the players in this event. But it's as much a mystery to me as it is to anyone else. Perhaps you can help. A fresh eye and uh, an uncluttered view. And maybe, together, we can reassemble the happenings and get a better understanding of what took place. We can only hope. Breakfast time. Did you get Jody's breakfast? Oatmeal and raisins, like always. She loves her oatmeal. Yeah, she certainly does. 
I see you're starting a new project. What's it going to be this time? It's a sweater for Jody. Thought so. It's her favorite color. Yes, it is. Mm -hmm. Allison, do you remember the nurse we discussed? The nurse for Jody? Yeah. Michael, I told you, I can take care of Jody myself. I know, I know, but Dr. Turner thinks it would be best if we just... Michael, please. He thinks it would be best for Jody. And that's what we both want, isn't it? What's best for Jody? Allison? Isn't it? Yes. Good. The nurse is coming today. Today? Yes, her name is Mrs. Randolph. Is she gonna live here with us? For a while, till things get a little better. Jody's not gonna like her. I think she'll be very helpful. And then maybe I can get back to work. And leave us here alone with her? Let's just give it a chance, okay? Let's see what happens. Allison. Okay. Okay. Good. man says it's a $50 fare from the airport. Lady, it's 25 miles. $2 a mile. Mrs. Randolph? Yes. Am I being overcharged? I'll take care of it. She's some piece of work. I wouldn't tip him. He doesn't deserve it. Thanks for your trouble. Thanks, man. Good luck. Michael Overton. Something wrong, Mr. Overton? You're not quite what I expected. What did you expect? You're very young. I'm qualified for the job. Dr. Turner said your qualifications were excellent. But you disagree? I just expected someone with more experience. I've been a psychiatric nurse for six years, and I'm a licensed psychotherapist. I I'm sorry. You just don't look like a Mrs. Randolph to me. I was expecting an older person, maybe a semi-retired widow or something. If, in your opinion, I'm unsuitable, then I'll leave. No, I don't. On the other hand, if I don't fit your image of a Mrs. Randolph, then why don't you just call me Catherine and let's get on with it? OK, Catherine. Let me show you your room. Thank you. It's up the stairs. Turn right at the top, it's at the end of the hall. Hope you like it. It'll do. We had the entire house remodeled last year. It's my parents' place. I inherited it after my father died. 
When was that? A couple years ago. I see. I'm looking forward to meeting your wife. She thinks you're here to take care of our daughter. Jody. Yes. Jody. You know the situation? Of course. I'd, uh, like to change first. Will you wear a nurse's uniform or something? No, but I brought one in this case. It's appropriate. Now, if you'll excuse me, I'd like to get started. We'll be downstairs in the living room if you need us. Interesting. I wonder why Michael was so taken aback with Catherine's appearance. He said she wasn't what he expected, but he seemed to be saying that if a woman has a missus in front of her name, she should be older. Now, what does that say about Michael? Or does it say anything? Now, there are some other points that I'm not clear about, and I could use some help. I'd appreciate it if you take the time to express your opinion about some of the things we've just seen. A few simple questions.
I'm Randy Vixen. Welcome to 1900 Hot Licks. Get ready for the call of your life. You have chosen fantasy number 17, Naughty Nurse Nelly. Hello there. I'm the night nurse. My name is Nurse Nelly Naughton. You can just call me Nelly. When I'm not working at the hospital, I'm an erotic dancer. I have legs like a Barbie doll, but my hair is fiery red and curly. I have sensuous lips that long to be kissed, and my full breasts are just aching to get out of this oh-so-tight uniform. Do you like what you see? Good, I thought you would. Now, it's time for your sponge bath. Oh. Why don't you sit up? Oh, that's good. Now I'm going to have to take off your gown. There we go. Oh, look at those shoulders. You must work out. And oh, that's some scar. I like a man with scars. Now, just lie there and relax. I need to wring out this sponge. Oh, doesn't that sponge feel cool and clean where it touches your skin? Mm hmm. <laughs> I'm washing your chest and your stomach and... My, oh, my! What have we here? Looks like I've got more and more to clean every minute. Does that feel good? Oh, yes. Yes, it feels so good. It feels so good. Oh, 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 my! I'm gonna need more soap. There we go. Oh, it's so slippery and warm. You're going to be the cleanest patient in the entire wing. Uh-huh. Oh, you're so hot. I think you've got a little fever. I can feel the heat coming right off your body. Oops. I dropped the sponge. I guess I'll just have to use my hand. Hold on while I put on a rubber glove. Oh, do you like that? Of course you do. Oh, relax. Oh, there you go. Almost done. Oh, oh, yes. Yes, yes! Oh. Clean as a whistle. You're my most favorite patient. I'll see you tomorrow night. caught the Dr. Betty show yet? She's smart, wise, witty, tough, and fun. She may even be just a little bit psychic. She's a wife and a mother with a PhD degree in family matters and human relationship analysis. Dr. Betty will challenge, confront, delight, and even frighten you. She's the mother you always wanted, the sister you missed out on, and the wife you can't have. For clear, pointed, and useful answers to your problems, tune into KPRB every day at noon. Dr. Betty's the prescription your regular doctor forgot to give you.
After a brief informal meeting, Michael appears as described. A more current, thorough description of Michael is forthcoming. Scheduled interview with Allison will take place next. Who are you? And what are you doing in my room? Oh. Oh, wait a minute, I see. You're the, uh, viewer, right? Hmm. I didn't realize you could just sneak up on me like that. I'll have to be more careful. You never know what I might be doing. Well, I have to meet my patient now. You're probably gonna snoop around my room, aren't you? Guess there's nothing I can do about it. Oh well, you probably won't find anything too incriminating, I hope. Hi. I miss you. And I'm sorry it's taken me so long to get in touch. You wanted me to tell you what I'm doing with my life, but you know what a crummy letter writer I am, so I came up with the perfect solution. I'll just talk to you as if you were here and send you these tapes. So I'm on my way to Southern Oregon. I'll be working on that case I was telling you about the Overtons, remember? Oh, it's okay, Tigger. Shh. Everything is okay. Oh, I'm taking Tigger to the kennel. He's not a happy cat. I don't know how long I'm going to have to leave him. Maybe a month. <laughs> Remember when we came back from Hawaii? How pathetic and depressed he looked. And that was after only a week. Shh. Don't worry. There'll be lots of other kitties to play with. And I brought you your special food and mousy toy. I'm driving to the airport. I'm feeling kind of sad. I guess I'm experiencing postpartum depression. If I get this worked up over leaving my cat, I can't imagine what it'll be like when I have kids and have to send them off to summer camp. I've been thinking about that a lot recently. Having something happen to your child would be horrible. The most horrible thing in the world. I've arrived at the Overtons. It's on a farm in the middle of nowhere. <laughs> and I just realized I forgot my organic shampoo. Urgh. The room is okay. Nice and light. The bed leaves something to be desired. It's as hard as a hospital mattress. Is this boring you? I'll bet you want to hear something more professional and nurse-like. I'll give it a try. <clears throat> Notes for Allison's official case study and medical documentation. After a brief informal meeting, Michael appears as described in diary. Scheduled interview with Allison will take place next.
When you've concluded this test, you will return to the story. Do you wish to proceed? Have you ever taken a TAT? The acronym stands for Thematic Apperception Test. Here's how it works. I'm going to show you some images, paintings, photographs, drawings, and then I'm going to ask you some questions about these images. It's quite simple, really, so sit back and clear your cluttered mind, let your thoughts go free, leave your inhibitions behind. Good. Good. Well, that was illuminating. Let's do this again a little later.